You know what's good about the hospital? The cafeteria. They have good sandwiches and good coffee. Even though they have drinks with 94 grams of sugar in it. We don't drink those. Care to explain why we're here today again? Because I'm getting the Herceptin and Progetta infusions. Forever. Nice glasses. Thank you. Herceptin and Pergeta are two very good drugs that are keeping the cancer at bay. Is that the right way to put it? Yes. They're inhibiting the growth of cancer cells. Unfortunately, all stage 4 girls are likely to receive those drugs for the rest of their life. Well, Herceptin, HER2 positive stage 4. And because of all that, the hospital keeps growing. Isn't this crazy? This wasn't here the last time we were here. That's true. Last time we were here, which was only a couple weeks ago, this was not here. They were getting ready to put this up. I saw this uh, field here, this area here being prepped for construction, but man, this goes fast. Okay then, here we are. This cafeteria never fails. So, you have to do this every three weeks for the rest of your life? Yes. What about all the big trips? I guess it, it depends on if something changed, you know. Because you know the tumor can change. Things will change for the better. And no, it wouldn't be better. What do you mean? The tumor genetic makeup could change from HER2 positive to like triple negative or or estrogen positive or whatever else and then I believe the tumor will just go away not change and then you don't have to take any herceptin they still probably give this wow but she's blind oh baby is? uh huh oh. oh I saw her here earlier in the hospital yeah. a few she months ago let's see this camera they, they is that a pictures. camera? she's so poor doggy wow. We're in the uh, pause wall of fame. Oh, really? So how long has she been doing this? We um, almost eight years. Wow. Lisa. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. And Lisa is brand new. So pretty. I'm bringing Lisa around. She's doing very good. This is her first trip. Well, and actually, her is being, good being certified through Betty. Her mother? No, she's come. She she's been here a couple times with me for my husband when he got blood. We sit down in the lobby and you look at her and her tail's just going the whole time. Do you feel better? Oh, I see. now I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bonnie is sleepy, all infused and herceptinized. Feeling a little under the weather. I'm sorry. You were hoping this treatment would be a little shorter and easier than the regular chemo. Yeah. And it's pretty much almost the same. One drug less, but that doesn't mean you're spending less time in the hospital. We were hoping it would be less, but it's not. Also somewhat of a uh, strange and sort of delicate issue to discuss. I don't really know how to talk about it. It may, it may get edited out this part. As we hear from more of you guys about the current situation, we start realizing that there isn't a very good idea out there among most of you about what it really means to be diagnosed with the stage four metastatic disease. There are some treatment methods. There are things you can do there's a lot of willpower and hope and good wishes and inner strength that keeps you going and you know thankfully 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 Blonnie has been doing amazingly well so far overall in general it is complete agreement among all the doctors we talk to that once you are diagnosed with that you never really become completely free of it so that means, you know, as hopeful as we are, and I completely believe that Lani can overcome this and 
come out victorious and live for a long time, you never really are completely free of it. There isn't currently any known to modern medicine methods that will cure you, so to speak. There are methods of, you know, keeping cancer at bay and we will do everything in our power to do that and we're utilizing any possible accessible currently method medicine offers um, to, to achieve exactly that. Um, is, is it possible to become completely cancer free? Yes, it is. Uh, but the statistics are sort of against us a little bit. So, unfortunately for now, right now, unless something changes, which, you know, there's always hope for a change. It's not, nothing is set, nothing is completely decided. It's all dynamic. But as, as for now, Blani is unfortunately looking to receive these kind of treatments for for a long time, every three weeks. And uh, she's a little depressed about it right now. So if you guys have positive thoughts and encouragement to send our way, we're definitely receiving. Please go away and comment. Uh, send thoughts and, you know, um, positive vibes, whatever you have there, just, uh, just please support us with your words. It really means a lot. We love hearing it and uh, it helps. It helps on every level. So please uh, don't hesitate to use words. Write a poem, you know, book or a small comment or just say, hang in there, guys. Huh? Write a poem. Okay, yeah, maybe I went too far, but... Uh, <laughs> But yes, send us, send us, send us your words. Definitely send us your words, and uh, we're we're always here, between home and hospital. Currently, you know, sometimes stopping at the mall on the way, or at the school to pick up Sheridan. I don't think we're late today. We're gonna be just in time. So we'll keep you guys posted. But this is the current situation. I spoke a lot. Uh, hope you're all still with us out there, and uh, we we go on with this day. You know. So far, so good. Hey, hey, guys, look at this. Remember our t-shirt campaign? They are here. Look how cool. All right. I know some of you that ordered them already got yours. We saw two or three pictures online. So everybody else, when you are getting the hoodies and the t-shirts that you ordered, please post a photo online, social media, text us, email us, send it to us in the mail, and we will feature everybody in an upcoming episode soon. Thank you guys again so much for supporting this campaign. It doesn't come with just a donation. It comes with actually really cool product that you can now wear. And most importantly, it supports Bologna's path to beating cancer because remember... You're in fifth grade now, you have a good idea of the world. What would you like to do when you grow up? Be a dog trainer.